Hello, photography friends. Uh, I mean, the cold doesn't usually bother me, but what in the actual... This is probably the coldest day that I've ever been out shooting. I really don't even know if we're going to see anything over here today. Um, but it is cold. There's still snow on the ground from earlier in the week. So we're going to walk around a little bit. Um, but if I get too cold, I'm not going to hang out all day. So. Walking through a hypothermia wonderland. I mean, we might actually see some stuff over here today because I don't think anyone other than us is stupid enough to be out in this weather. So that's good at least. I hear a lot of birds and maybe a rattlesnake. The thing I've noticed about these wildlife refuges is the wildlife just does not seem to do much refuging over here. Today's vlog is brought to you by the number three. Mwahaha. Oh, now we're coming up on the number two. Huh, I wonder if there's a surprise party up here. I just saw something in those trees over there. There's a lot of stuff over here, actually. Probably because it's in the middle of nowhere and it's freezing cold outside today, but... Uh, we're going to try to use that to our advantage. Okay, I'm just going to keep taking more photos and see if I can get anything good. Not gonna lie, this is a very interesting wildlife preserve. It's 50% wildlife preserve, and the other 50% kind of looks like a, a barren wasteland. Very strange. I can honestly say I've never seen anything like it before. Interesting aesthetic. I dig it. I mean, seriously, am I wrong? This looks like someone was about to build a parking lot and then they were just like, nah, let's just make it a wildlife preserve. We're coming up on a body of water. All right, let's get ready for the big reveal. That's it. Not much happening down by the water. Just some seagulls flying around. And then the trail just ends. It doesn't loop around or anything. So now we just gotta go back the way we came. I feel like this would be a great place for like uh, short-eared owls or harriers to fly around and hunt, but I don't think they're going to see anything over here today, but in theory, it seems like a good idea. Wishful thinking, I guess, on my part. I almost bought a new wildlife lens last night. Um, it was on Best Buy. 
had it in my cart. I was debating it, then said, you know what, why not? Clicked purchase and my card was denied because apparently I got a new card and I did not realize it. So that was just the universe's way of telling me, no, you don't need any more photography gear. I disagree with the universe, but we'll come back to that. I think we're going to come back to that. Please, sir. I want some more. What? Please, sir. I want some more. More? Once again, not much wildlife taking refuge in this wildlife refuge, but it's big. There's no people here. I like that. I don't like the zero wildlife, but we've come to expect that by now, I think. I decided to turn back around because I don't exactly know how far these trails go because I've never been over here before so I don't really feel like ending up in Connecticut or something. Uh, I have got lost on a trail before, right before sunset too actually. Not fun. thought I was going to have to spend the night in some broken down old trailer that I came across. Fortunately, I found my way out, but yeah, it was, a little, it was a little sketch there for a minute. Apparently, this trail that we're currently on goes around in a loop, but I have my doubts because every other trail that I've been on so far has ended abruptly like most celebrity marriages. Um, I mean, you know, my style of wildlife photography is not um, find out where a bird is from all my wildlife photography buddies, which I don't have. I don't have wildlife photography buddies. Evander Holyfield, would you pop a buddy in the mouth for 59 cents? You bet I would. If it's a breakfast buddy from Burger King. And we all show up, hang out for eight hours and take a picture of the bird that's hanging out there. To me, that is not enjoyable. Um, I mean, sure, it's great to get a photo of a bird, but I don't collect uh, bird photographs like Pokemon cards. I'd rather just be out walking, enjoying nature, and if I stumble upon something, hey, you know what, I take a photo of it. Most other wildlife photographers might disagree with that strategy, but I'm not most other wildlife photographers. All right, let's keep walking. The loop did actually go all the way around, but I'm not quite ready to leave yet. So we're just gonna go and loop back again. And then we're gonna go to the car to see if we can get a few more things. Also, um, I'm not trying to diss other wildlife photographers and say one way of uh, photographing wildlife is better than another way. It's just, for me, I like to just walk around and see what I can see and, you know, take photos that way. Obviously, I'll check if something is in the area and, you know, that might influence my decision, but it's mainly just going to be me walking around. Unless I see something, then maybe I'll hang out for a bit and try to 
capture a photo, but I don't know. I just prefer to walk and talk and shoot. I did just see a sign that said it's still bow hunting season over here until January 31st. But as long as you stay on the trails, you should be okay. If you go off the trails, dead. Instantly dead. You will be so dead. This, my friends, is nature. Get out and enjoy nature. Or, I guess they probably have a nature simulator for PS5, so it's probably the same thing. So you could do that as well, I guess, if you really want to. And you don't feel like going out in the cold like me, because you're a baby. You're a little, tiny, crying baby who can't take the cold. That's what you are. And I'll think less of you, but play your nature simulator on PS5. I don't care. I want to go down that little path to the water, but I feel like I'll just slide down and slide into the water. So um, probably not going to happen. Does anyone who's good at Premiere Pro know how to remove frozen boogers in post-production? Asking for a friend. You don't know French! Just been walking over here again and uh, noticed a little bluebird was hanging out. I've been trying to get a few photos of him. I did get a video of him taking a dump, so you don't see that every day. You don't see that on National Geographic. Well, actually, you might. Anyway, I think that's gonna just about do it for our photography journey today. I'm gonna head back to the car. Uh, lots of robins over here. Got a few stone sparrows, some other small birds. Uh, we did get that bluebird toward the end. Um, a few nice photos of him and the video of him pooping, obviously. Uh, that's going to be... We put some nice classical music behind that. That's going to be Chef's Kiss right there. But uh, hey... Thanks for joining me on this photography journey once again. And if you like this content, remember, like, share, and subscribe. We're going to get to 10 subscribers soon. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. It's because it's going to be because of you guys. Okay. Remember, keep taking photographs and I'll see you when I see you. Good day.
Gotta get back in time.